Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today's video is going to be a game changer for anyone who works with Excel regularly. We'll be diving into the world of building custom lookup tables to enhance the performance of XLOOKUP. But before we jump into these amazing examples, I want to share something special with you. BTNX has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? because you are not using chat gpt and ai tools while doing all of these work now let's not waste any more time and explore the incredible ways you can supercharge your x lookup game x lookup can be a bit tricky when it comes to handling items that are not found in your data will show you a clever trick to deal with this situation effectively. For this example, we are having two sheets. In one sheet, we are having employee name along with yearly salary. In another sheet, we are having employee ID, the bonus, then employee name. So only few employees got bonus and remaining employees haven't got bonus so we have to give bonus to those people who got it right so for that here we are going to use xlookup so first of all we have to give lookup value here in our case Aryan Sharma A2 and then lookup array so here employees name so I'm giving absolute cells reference. Then in return, we want a bonus. So here, if the value is not found. That means he or she haven't got bonus. So zero. Then uh, in XLOOKUP by default, it's an exact match. So we no need to specify that. So here you can see the bonus. So what we'll do, we'll multiply this percentage with yearly salary. Okay. So this employee will get 35,000 bonus. So let me drag this thing down. You can see Nisha won't get bonus and Siddharth also and Rohit also. Did you know that X lookup can also perform horizontal lookups? It's a powerful feature that may users overlook. Stay tuned to discover how you can leverage this functionality in your Excel projects. For this example, we are going to find maximum bonus. So same thing which we have done in our last example, but for this one, here we are having data in horizontal. So in rows we are having. So here we are using X lookup. First of all, we have to give lookup value Aryan Sharma, then lookup array. So here also I'm using absolute reference. Then return array bonus. If not found zero, then we need to multiply it with yearly salary so here you can see we got 
35,000 and I'm just trying it and you can see all the other values all the values are same before going to solve our next example I would like to tell you that AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot it won't want to get affected by this recession wave right well AI won't replace you but the person using AI will if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our to our Microsoft office using AI tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description box now. Now let's solve our next example. Sometimes you might need to find a value based on a partial match or using wild cards. XLOOKUP can do that too. I'll demonstrate how to use this feature to make your searches more flexible and efficient. For this example, we need to find the first name from employees column. We are having last name Varma here. For this thing, I'm going to use XLOOKUP. First of all, here what we have to do is we have to enter these things double quotes asterisk double quotes then I am present here now we have to give the lookup value here after that we have to give lookup array then return array is also same one right here if not found we'll leave this thing here what we have to select is wildcard character match and that's it you can see Akash Verma Two-way lookup is a handy technique that allows you to search for a value based on both rows and column criteria. It's perfect for more complex data structures and I'll guide you through the process. For this example, we are going to use another column, max payment. So it's just sum of these two yearly salary and maximum bonus first of all we are going to create a data validation first one contains employee names let's select Neha here we are going to create another data validation again list here I'm going to select these three yearly salary maximum bonus and maximum payment so let's select yearly salary Here I'm using XLOOKUP. First of all, I'm going to select Neha. Then lookup value will be employee names. After that, we have to get the data from here, right? So here what I'm going to do is 
here I'm going to use another xlookup inside this xlookup So first of all, we are going to give the lookup value yearly salary, then lookup array will be these three and return array will be this one. So we are not giving any other values and I'm just going to enter. Click OK. You can see Neha Tiwari yearly salary is 6,70,000. If you want to check maximum bonus, Neha Tiwari got maximum bonus of 43,550 so you can also check for Nisha Gupta Nisha Gupta got 0 bonus right XLOOKUP is not limited to extract matches we can use it for approximate matches as well. This can be incredibly useful in scenarios where you need to find the closest match to a given value. For this example, here we are having salary and bonus. What we are going to do is, so here you can see those people who, who are getting 2 lakh salary they will get 0% bonus and those who are getting 4 lakhs they will get 5 those who are getting 6 lakhs they will get 8% and those who are getting 8 lakhs they will get 10% and those who are getting 10 lakhs they will get 15% bonus so here we are going to use xlookup So here our lookup value will be yearly salary first one then lookup array will be here in this sheet salary one so here I'm going to use exact match then return array will be bonus new bonus same thing here also I'm going to use exact match so we don't need this one if not found here we want exact match or next smaller item so we are going to use minus one and i'm going to click on enter so we'll do one thing will multiply we will multiply it with the salary and ok so I'm just going to drag it here you can see the new bonus 56,000 52,000 like that and that's it for now in the end I hope these examples will boost your excel skills. Do like, comment, share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such informative videos. Also don't forget to check out our workshop link in the description box below. We'll see you there. Thank you for watching.